I got back home not too long ago and I've been spending a huge chunk of time catching up with family, going out with them on road trips, and also getting some much needed break from Cambridge. Don't get me wrong though, I love Cambridge, and I'm living in a very nice dorm this year with very chill roommates. Our suite is spacious, and I took the liberty to sort of construct our living space, and I went into that whole ordeal with just one thing in mind, minimalism. Not like the ultra hardcore minimalism where you can only have an X amount of things at one time. I can't live like that, and I doubt the people that I surround myself with can either. I first came across this concept of minimalism with Matt Diavella, a documentary filmmaker and YouTuber. Known for his minimalist ideas and creation of sustainable habits, he was the one who really inspired me to embrace quality over quantity. I didn't realize it back then, but I'm much more likely to sit down and do the work when my desk and living space is clean, organized, and decluttered. I don't have like chargers or books or sticky notes all crowding up my table that's distracting me. I love minimalism and this idea that we can derive significantly more benefits from what we own by simply just having less of it. I see my peers around me with their five suitcases lugging it back and forth and filling up their rooms with things that I don't really see them use at all. I can't really say much either because back then I most likely had the same way of thinking. Back then I accumulated a ton of random stuff in my room. There is always a voice in my mind that's telling me to not throw away certain things, that Nike shoe box that sleek, elegant packaging, or even some packing peanuts. I always wanted to find a way to use the things that I had. And so naturally, over time, my room just started to get filled up with quite an interesting array of things. I have all the Apple product packaging that I ever owned, dozens of the same cords, papers from high school, clothes that I don't fit in anymore, and sentimental things from friends and family. Even the tiniest things I held onto, like the plastic twist ties for the wires, clips, flash drives, cables, and bricks. I kept them all. And so coming back home after spending my summer in Cambridge, I stepped into my room and in my mind I'm thinking, wow, this place looked like more like an Ikea than a bedroom. I quite literally had everything imaginable and it felt like the room that I walked in was not mine. You see, I had left that scarcity mindset long time ago and I felt that as a student, having this mindset is only holding you back being unable to sift through the trivial things and to decide to discard them. You're just letting that clutter build up, both physically in your living space and also mentally in your mind. And trust me, you don't want to live in that scarcity mindset because that's how you subconsciously feed your mind with these limiting beliefs about yourself. You think that you won't be able to derive more value tomorrow. You think that you won't be able to get another chance to get what it is you want in the future, so you cash it all in now. You pinch for money, you hoard the free merch and useless shit that you won't ever use. That's such a finite way of thinking. It's like you don't have faith in yourself to do better in the future. You continue getting the free stuff and it just piles up. What are you going to be even using that for? And it's taking up valuable space in our physical environment, but also our mind. When we see it, it saps away this intentionality and control that we should have in our life. If you haven't used it in the last month, you don't need it. Donate it, give it away, or just toss it out. Oh, but what if I need it for the future? Trust me, you don't need it, and you won't ever need it. I bet you that if I just throw it out without you knowing, you won't even notice that you're missing it. The mentality you should start living with is that you only keep the things that you absolutely need to live with. You know the saying, less is more. By not being essential and minimal with our possessions, we become a slave to these objects. We get irritated when we buy something cheap and it breaks. We complain about it, but continue still making these poor purchases. Why not get something more durable and higher quality? It'll save you the headache and you have this peace of mind that it's reliable. You can count on it to do its job. Being more intentional with what we own, we derive more utility and happiness from having it than let's just say owning four different things with the same functions. But no, that's not an excuse to keep buying the newest iPhone or the latest tech. You don't need the new iPhone or laptop to start your business. You don't need the fancy notebooks or gel pens to get good grades. You don't need the influencer workout routines to get in shape. They're just using marketing tactics to distract you and to clutter up more of your space. The people who make it out don't make it out by hoarding or constantly updating what they use. They focus on driving change with what they already have. Minimalism allows us to break free through the noise of this finite thinking and this trap of consumerism. We all know that it's a distraction. 
What will truly get us the results we want is simply by being disciplined to continue doing the work. We must stay vigilant in what we spend our money on. And I'm not saying to not spend any money at all. I believe that the best way to spend money is actually on experiences and not materialistic things. And you know, I'm fortunate enough to have a good working laptop. It's not the latest and greatest, but it gets the job done. Why would I spend more money on getting the newest M3 MacBook if my current one can already do what I need it to do? It would be much better if I spent the money on, let's just say, going on a road trip with some friends. It will be a great time, and the truth is, you won't get tired of these memories and the laughter that you share with your friends. Those things last forever, but that new iPhone that you just got won't mean anything to you once the, the next version comes out. My psychology professor, Daniel Gilbert, aka the greatest of all time, and the author of Stumbling on Happiness, once said that you can sell your phone or these fancy shoes on eBay, but no one ever said, oh yeah, I'm gonna sell my memories of a trip on there. That's simply not the case. And we like to keep these memories for ourselves. And as a student, there's so much more out there for us to discover and accomplish. So please don't fill up your current inventory with these finite thoughts and objects. Gather an arsenal of things that you can reliably call upon and use it in your day-to-day -day life. And if you have something that you no longer derive happiness from, just get rid of it. Save that energy and focus on your goals. Stop attending those events to get the free stuff. You don't need more of it. In fact, you need less of it. So an action step for this video is I want you to go see what you can eliminate and declutter from your current possessions. Since you're on winter break, I think it's probably the best time to start going through your stuff and decluttering it and to start preparing for the upcoming semester. It's a new year and it's gonna be a good one. So why should we let things distract us even more? And if you need help determining what it is to eliminate, a good rule of thumb is to ask yourself, have I used this in the past three months? If not, just donate it or you can just toss it out. Of course, use your discretion on certain things. If it's a seasonal or sentimental thing, maybe keep it, but don't get carried away. Remember, less is more. That's all for today. By the time you're watching this, I most likely will be in China. I'm just scheduled this video out and I'll be there for the rest of winter break. So it's unlikely that I will post any more videos. I hope you all have a wonderful and restful break and I'll see you in the next video. Take action.